what is going on everybody welcome back to be the fish chasing hardware is back i just want to say thank you for being patient again i know i've mentioned this before in recent videos but in the delay of me posting because this is the busiest time of year we had troubles with the computer so we have a whole new setup new macbook and everything just start firing out a bunch of videos here for you guys but we just got back from icast uh we spent a whole week in icast a couple days fishing afterwards we're back home in New York. We have two days to work, and then we're headed down to the Susquehanna River for the Hobie BOS. And we only have two days of practice and then two days of competition. So they're probably not gonna be too long of episodes in terms of practice uh, because we only have two days compared to the three or four days that we've had in recent videos. But we're gonna get on the road. We're gonna go with Morgan Marine first, pick up a new kayak to use for this weekend, a new Hobie iTrek. We're gonna go pick that up, set it up, head down to the Susquehanna River, get practicing with our buddy, Mr. Zach Hall. We're gonna probably do some uh, some drifts with each other, get acclimated to the Susquehanna River because the water is low. It's gonna make things pretty interesting. And I think what we're gonna do is try to target some of the deeper pools on the river that might have more consistent water. And if they push them there, chances are there's gonna be more than just one. At least that's my thinking. I've actually never fished the Susquehanna River, even though it's only four hours from my house, never once gone out on. But right now we gotta get all this stuff ready. I'm gonna take you guys with us. Head down to Morgan Marine in the next couple days, get the kayak all loaded up, and head down to the Susquehanna River. We'll see you guys on the road. It is time to get on the road. We are headed to Morgan Marine. I'm gonna go pick up the Hobie that we're using for the weekend. Because that water level is so low, we're leaving the Pro Angler at home. We are leaving her in the garage. And we are gonna go pick up a new Hobie iTrek. Thing is pretty sweet. It's actually an inflatable kayak, which is kind of scary to think about, but I'm also pretty excited. It's gonna be able to get into that skinny water stuff, get over inches of water. And this tournament as well, you're allowed to wade, which is pretty sweet. Like, as long as you're tethered to your kayak, you're allowed to get out and fish, like, while you're standing in the water, which is very unique to other locations. No other location you could do that, to my knowledge. So we're getting on the road right now, heading to Morgan Marine, pick up that kayak, headed down to our Airbnb. We're staying with a bunch of guys this week. Uh, but our buddies Drew Gregory and Zach Hall, who you guys have seen on these videos, uh, we're staying with them. So I'll get to probably get to try to get some film with them this week too. Maybe get some you know predictions from folks what it's going to take, and uh, we'll try to have some cookout and all that, and try to film as much of that as I can uh, for this episode because this is chasing hardware. We are back, episode seven. Hope you guys are all excited. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. We're gonna go put gas in this truck. We're gonna get the Hobie. We're gonna head down and go get on some river smallmouth. Stay tuned. We'll talk to you guys throughout the trip. have the Hobie iTrek 11 in the back and safe to say I'm pretty excited to use that thing it's pretty nifty like it, it kind of like the first kayak I was ever in wasn't inflatable so I'm pretty psyched to get back somewhat to the roots in terms of the rig but we're gonna see what happens with it. I'm really excited to use it it's gonna change things up a little bit we're gonna have to probably take day one a little bit slow get prepared figure out what we're gonna do but it's gonna be fun to use that thing I'll tell you what but we are back we're gonna get on the road here headed down towards the Susky and uh, we got to stop at like a tackle shop get some food and such at Walmart and uh, figure some things out so we will talk to you guys when we get down to the Susky
Alright. We're at our place here. Take you guys on a little tour. Basically walk in the house and we got a little kitchen set up. Got some of my snacks and such, stuff from charging. A little scoop at the kitchen. Waters, beers, the essentials, you know. The must have to wake up on the early mornings. Take it in the next room. We got a little living room slash dining room action here. We got my bed for the night. Everybody else's parents could be upstairs or wherever they end up tonight. I uh, got my stuff here. This is basically gonna be my makeshift room because that's my bed for the night. One of the coolest parts here. Got a little back patio. We got a hot tub. Don't know if I'm gonna use it at all, but it's pretty cool. We got a couple guys here already. And then we have a couple more showing up later who will uh, shove this GoPro in their face eventually. Got bathroom, bed number one, bed number two, well, and three and four technically. Five. And then six, seven technically. We got all the trucks and kayaks out there. Getting things started, getting prepped and ready for day one of practice tomorrow. I think we're ready to go. I think we have an idea of what we're gonna do. And Zach is coming in tonight. Zach practiced today. So he'll have kind of an idea of how things are shaking out. And him and I will make a game plan of kind of what we want to do. Either way, I'm just excited. It's brand new. It, uh, it's all set up. It's tournament weekend. Haven't had one in a bit here. I've been rolling, been working. I'm just ready to go. So we'll say hi to some people when we get rolling. They get, uh, they get here. We'll introduce you to everybody. Have a good time. We're going to drink some beers tonight. Have some food. And uh, oh, I got to show you guys outside. Outside is the cool part. Got a little patio outside. Place we can chill. Definitely have a few beers around this baby tonight. Got ourselves a pool. I should just throw you guys in there. Some outdoor seating. This is where our buddy Drew is probably going to do all tanning during practice. And then we'll have our garage up here. And then we got ourselves a little garage. Two spaces for pull-ins for people. If they want to come back in. A little hangout area. Pretty decent little deal. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll check in with you guys. For me, it's whenever they get here, but for you guys, it'll be in like three, two. All right, Nick. What do you think it's gonna take total length and what bait do you think it's gonna take to win? I think um, I'm gonna fish purely for catfish and I'm gonna pay the organizer a handsome sum and see if it'll work in my favor. It looks like that's what he's gonna do. What is this fluorescent? Like this night, nighttime uh, line here you got? It's catfish. We have, a, we have a novice <laughs> kayak angler right here. Yeah. Brand new to the scene, never fished a kayak oh, tournament yeah. before. What do you oh, think it's gonna know, take man. for total length and Oh, it's gonna be 95 technique. a day. 95? So, yeah, 95 a day. So whatever that adds up to. Like what is that, 190? That'd be so, one, that's what you said. That's what you said. Yeah, 190. All I know is he's rigging up finesse stuff, but just remember, Nick, it's only finesse if you fish it finesse -y. <laughs> You can still power fish hey, all got, these baits if you want to fish them fast. Yeah, that's true. We have another fellow iTrek folk. What about bait, Drew? Let's hear it. I mean, to me... But this we is should. Gonna be after We're gonna get right up in your grill, right after, up in your COVID grill. I just feel take? like it's it's gonna be a burning a spinnerbait where the blades are blowing water <laughs> out on the surface as fast as you can wind it. And trust Ooh. me, the smallmouth will get there. Don't have to worry about you know you have an eight to one, ten to one. Go as fast as you can still. I can't believe we'll you're giving there. that up. You're gonna <laughs> so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Right? Yeah, of course, afterwards, of course, that's after after. Like yeah, more people top rolling in. Top water, you know, top water. Hi, Brandon. Brandon and Brandon. What do you think total length and bait to win? To win? Go ahead, Brandon. 90, 
93. A day? A you're day. way off. Oh, I was going to say you're way off because it's a two day tournament. Oh, is that, yeah, this is a two day, but I don't know if you know. Just kidding, I was kidding. Uh, a 93, I can see that. What'd you say? 93. 93? What do you think bait wise? Spinner bait and net. A net? Okay. I'm going to go 95 and a half a day. Specific. And. I'm gonna say a swim bait. Swim bait. Huh. What about you? you B logging. I am. Total length. Uh, total length and bait go. From today. Go for the tournament to win. Uh, let's see. Eighty-nine both days. Eighty. Uh, Debbie Downer. What about uh, bait? What about what about bait? The kitchen sink is the bait. Kitchen sink. <laughs> All right guys, we just got the kayak loaded up. We're headed down to the spot we're gonna take out. It's been too dark to really show you guys anything, but it is day one of practice. Kayaks are all loaded up. Where we're gonna start, we're driving down, we're gonna drop off my truck, hop in Zach's vehicle, head back up, and we are gonna start our float for the day. I think Zach and I are gonna try to pick apart different stuff from each other so we're not running the same water. And then uh, basically just you know run the same route, just work different stuff, so. We're gonna work together here. Kind of excited too. Zach and I fish pretty different. So it's gonna be fun. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys when we get on the water. Dude, this is the way to go. Dude. <laughs> Dude looks so good. been here probably 15 minutes and I'm already having so much dang fun in this new rig oh this is super cool nice way I gotta catch a bass It is insane how much this current makes these fish fight. It is kind of wild. I am not going to practice my measuring on this fish because he is so very small and I don't want hooks in my hand. Zach has an advantage this week with his power pole, but our first Susquehanna bass. Thank you, sir. Trying our hand at this wade deal. Pretty freaking sweet. There we go. <laughs> Little one. Oh man, that's so much fun. Little guy. Little guy. Hey, easy killer. Easy. Easy does it. Thank you. Where's your mama and your grandmama? Tell them I say hello. Good 
let me call you back. Okay. Well, I get away from that. There we go. Got ourselves a, our first good smallmouth. All right. Now comes the interesting part. I'm trying to get this sucker on the board. It's a good one. Heck yeah. All right, so here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna have my net like this. And of course, I have my bait sitting right there. I have my net like that. Bring my board here and board right here and then we're gonna put them down like that it's an 18 so here picture 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 say hello say hi to the back camera and say adios my amigo yeah I think that works Hopefully all of them were as nice as that one and stayed still. That was fun. I saw I saw that fish wake. Like I threw at that wake. That was pretty dope. Let's go catch another one. That was fun. Oh my hooks. Hooks are not been out. That's good. Alright. We're Gucci. Saw some big ones wake right here. Some big fish. I throw it. They were throwing a big old wake, and I'm in deeper water than I have been where I've been seeing the wakes. So you know those are bigger fish. Threw at them. They chased it a little bit. Didn't eat it. It's a little shallow flat that comes up here. This could be kind of nifty. Oh god! Just got blown up on right there. I feel like I should be throwing a popper on some of this stuff. See if I can't get blown up on again. I mean, that's good they blew up on the spook, but man, a spook scares me with smallmouth. You can lose a fish so easy on a spook, especially with smallmouth that can't choke it. One more cast of this thing. I'm going to actually try something different here. Sweet. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Here you go. Fortunately, those are not going to be the ones that are going to help us. We are going to need much bigger. Bigger they can get that easier. Oh, I bet it did. I got to go get pliers. Oh, God. That's a good one. That is a good one. Very good. There's so many fish here, dude. It's not even funny. Ah, don't get on my boat. No, 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 no. Hey, get under. I'm coming on my boat. I don't need hooks on my dang boat. Yeah, never mind. He's like a 16. Little chubby guy. I like that stretch right there. I just don't know if there's a bunch of big ones on it. Alright, so so far we got a decent amount of bites, 
bunch of small ones. We've got an 18 and I had two that just blew up on me. And that little rapid back there that I think were identical. And they're about, about 18. So two solid fish. Uh, I didn't catch either of them. I'm just burning this thing. And I come down to this next rapid like 50 yards down and I see a big school of them. Like literally 10 in a wolf pack that are all around, you know, that 17 and 19 range. And then I see some other ones, other decent sized ones cruising. Oh. oh. Nice. Oh God. No way, that was a giant. I hope you guys saw that. Holy crap. Oh my God, <laughs> that thing was huge. Oh. I kind of want to catch that one because that's a rogue. It is a random rogue. How did it miss it? This could be interesting. Just kidding, that was fun. Time for lunch. Take a little lunch break right here. Man, this is good. Hits the spot. Dude, I've seen that I'm not even fishing for. Giant. Why can't I hook them? I don't get it. I've had so many big bites today. I can't hook a single one. Good grief. Don't understand. All right, guys. We are trudging along here. I'm trying to find some more productive water. Problem is everything's so dang shallow. I'm trying to find some pools. Even some subtle pools, I was getting bites over there, but this stuff this doesn't look productive to me, but it looks like the bank might actually have some deeper, a deep ridge along it. So I'm gonna try and get over there and see if we can't get any bites. So I found a pretty unique area, at least for what I've been used to looking at. It's a much deeper water. It's probably five, six foot, bigger boulders that are exposed and a lot more trenches for these fish, I think, to hold in. So I'm gonna take my time kind of going through this stuff to make sure I'm giving it due diligence. And Well, that right there looks like rain. Rain that, hopefully, it's not gonna hit me. Although, I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but just don't feel like getting that wet. I've been kind of wet all day from waiting. 
don't really feel like uh don't really feel like doing that well i spoke too soon rain came we are about to go down into here these eddies look really good although i think the other one drops down like five feet we're gonna have to find out one way or another but we're gonna have to figure out a way down here without falling in i think it's actually gonna be kind of fun Loki, looking forward to it we're going There we go. There we go. What was I so afraid of? I'm such a lake boy, it's not even funny. Good grief. That was pretty fun. I kind of want to go do that again. We're going to have to do it again, I think, actually. Just probably worse. All right. Let's go figure out if there's a bass or two in here. Dude, oh. there's freaking big smallmouth over here. Yeah, I'm watching it swim around. He's eating something. Dude, he just chased my fly in. a pike? <laughs> yeah, I'll... All right, guys, we are probably going to wrap it up here in a second. Uh, the back GoPro is out of footage because I've been running it for the past nine and a half hours. That's only as much as a 265 gig SD card will take. So we are going to get off the water here in a second. And kind of what we're thinking about doing tomorrow. Probably just going to do something very similar to today. But it was a good start. We're around big fish. We're around them. We just need to be able to put them in the boat. That's the only problem. They'll commit to our bait, but they won't fully commit. They'll say hi. They just don't want to get their picture taken. So I'm going to keep grounding away for probably another mile and get back to the ramp. If I catch any more, I'll show you guys here. Just my uh, GoPro is out of battery on the chesty. Otherwise, I'd rather than chesty the whole time. So day one's in the books. 
One more day of practice and then it's tournament time. What's that with you guys? Got a big old walleye. Really? Yeah. Could have made some steaks out of them. That away. Pick up a pick up spinner bug. Adrian Avina's new spinner bait rod. A pro series rod from Abu Garcia. If I can get the spinner bait out. I've never experimented much with the painted blades. So we're gonna play around with that today. And I probably need a new swim bait, but here we are.
Oh, hell yeah. Is it a big one? Dude, I love how they're not even that big and they're just smoking your ass. You know what I mean? Oh, dude, that's a 19. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.